The pig haulers. Hey, I ain't got my glove. Oh, do we have to have gloves? We got hose. We're gonna run through there. We all can laugh like a girl. Okay, I've got a really big question for you. Always gotta have gloves around. When you're hauling a pig, what do you do with your beer? Put it in your back pocket. In your back pocket. <laughs> I don't have a pocket, Hank. Oh, you don't have a pocket? <laughs> now, that's well, big. It's a big. <laughs> Hank, it's Ooh. supposed to go in there yeah. on a real party. Hey, and you got some, one of them uh, super bras or something. <laughs> <laughs> one of those koozie Hank, bras. You hey, you know, <laughs> know, that's where it's supposed to go. The koozie you know. bra. Spring break. Get it? You going to carry no. some? You going to carry a pig? So who's, who's running this show, Bob? And what do we do? Well, uh, we're going to pull the peg out here a little bit. And okay. We're going to run these rods through here like a gurney. All right. And then we're going to let y'all carry it up there and set it on the Can top. Can we hold it with bare rods? Do we need to have gloves? These are, these are cool to tie. Yeah. Okay, good. Cool. All right. Hank's done this a million times, but for me, this is well, special. Well, no. No, we, I ain't never carried no pig on a rod. No, we well, don't. That's true. We put him right on, on a, we got a cage and microwave, which is a bunch of concrete blocks there you go. With, <laughs> with a metal top that we all move over. That's it. And uh, Dig in. we put the hickory in on four sides, and then we cut the meat off right there. Just go at it. You know, you need to come down. I got a good little old cooking spot there. We're ready. But yeah. see, everybody, they, they skin their hogs. And my old, old buddy said, this guy's going to ruin this hog. And he said, I'll have to say, that's the best one I ever had. Huh? Some people, but the skin holds the flavor in, right? Of course, the juice. But a lot of uh, Kansas City, they skin this. Hmm. <laughs>I get right here. Let me see. Let, let go. Let me see. I got it, Hank. I got it. Hank, you don't know me. Okay, well, grab a hold of that, baby, and go down. <laughs> Put it over your head. Walk sideways. Both of them. There you go. Together. Here we go. All right. This is a heavy thing, but somebody won't get that second. Go up there next to the vestibule where the hot tub is and open it. Yeah, and drop it in the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where I'm going tonight. Everybody knows yeah. I'm hog wild. Hog wild. Hog wild. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use two hands to go up the stairs. Okay. Oh, God. We do not want to drop the pig. All right, guys. What a great job you all dripping down the steps. Uh-huh. Gosh, Hank's got the heavy part. Yeah, old Hank always gets all the heavy work. Yeah, you do. The pig him is dripping. There's a trip. Oh, yeah, gosh. Why, why, why's the pool, Hank? Yeah, back into the pool now. Yo. Where's this thing going? It was on that table over there. Got it. Over. Got it, baby. Got it. You put the head outside. Oh, the head outside. They're picky. Wait. Let me, uh, let me get out. You okay. Can, I got you, it. I have you want it. me to go around? Woo. Great, right, guys. Put the hand right there, Hank. You got it. Right Carry pig. Let me get a dress up and we'll have it ready to eat him just so. Wow. What an experience. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Oh, now, there's the pool part. Whoa. And that's the really good right there. For me? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Hank, huh? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good. Hey. Well, see, when we do it the other way, then he'll. On the on the grill we're talking about, then we burn some of it, it'd be kind of black. We call it outside meat because some people want it real sort of dark, and okay. that's when you that's when you take the skin off. So we got it over here. They got it. outside meat over here. So we've already got it done that. I like it. I like burnt. You like it burnt? I like mm -hmm. burnt. Mm -hmm. Well, that is just something. It just falls apart. Ooh. Oh yeah. So, Look at that. Yeah. That that is 18 falls. hours. 18, 20 actually on this. 20 hours. Ooh. We start a little early. Mm -hmm. How often do you eat like this, Hank? With this kind of food, barbecue, huh? jambalaya. How often do you eat like this? Uh, well, the, the jambalaya stuff quite a bit. The, you know, like I said, we got all the, there's the elk. One night it's the wild turkey, and then it's the elk, and then it's the trout, and then it's the frog legs, and then it's the oysters, and then it's the, we eat pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and then the I Alabama thought. vegetables, my aunt, you know, oh. boy, that South Alabama vegetables. You know, then you throw all this away and just eat the vegetables when they, when they come in. <laughs> Man, this is beautiful. Lori Ann Crux Celebrity Kitchen will be right back with more great music and great food.
And what do you like about all this? The outdoor stuff? Mm-hmm. I don't know. You know, Daddy loved that. Granddaddy, it's, it, it's a true family tradition. Uh, Daddy had, you know, lots of guns, you know, mini pearl. And they, they told me he would sit in the dressing room snapping them before he went on. She said, God, you're exactly like him. I'd say, oh, you're on here. Oh, hell. Yeah. Click. Click. <laughs> click. One time he was in a hotel and it didn't click. It, pow. Oh, <laughs> Went over Danny Deal's head in the next room. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, she said he would carry satchels of them around and play with them. Said, well, people, no wonder. I know where you got it from. You got it from him. He had them coming out his ears everywhere. Well, you don't have them like that, do you? I kind of have one yeah. around more than you think of. Oh. <laughs> He's got a few. Okay, What everybody. we wanted to do here, when we really do our cookout, we fire off a Civil War cannon. See, that's what I want to see. see I heard about you that. You do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I wasn't going to haul it all the no. way here and break out these people's <laughs> windows when it... <laughs> it has a lot of concussion when it goes off. Yeah. 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 You like the good life, the uh, real good life. Yeah, I'm, I do. I do like the good life. <laughs> In fact, I just bought me an airplane last week to take me to that good life <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Somebody asked me once, they said, does that jet bring you happiness, Bo Cephas? I said, well, no, but it will take you to where some is. <laughs> Can we go with you? Oh, I'm all for that. <laughs> I got a good woman at home. She thinks I don't do no wrong. Sometime long. Don't you know it's when I fall I can't help myself at all I get whiskey bent and hell I play a song about a ram and then I put some Jim Beam from Marshall Tucker to the Almond Brother Band. It's a boo-boo steeples I love to get drunk and hear country sound. Would you play I'm so lonesome I could cry? And I get all balled up inside. And we get 